Orion is one of the most recognized constellations in the world. It's prominent in the evening sky from December to March. In mythology, Orion the Hunter and his hunting dogs, Canis Major and Canis Minor, are depicted chasing after the constellation Lepus the Hare. Another star legend says Orion was in love with one of the seven sisters of the Pleiades, but her father, the king, disapproved. Now Orion is seen battling Taurus the Bull eternally trying to reach the sisters. Orion lies on the celestial equator, making it equally visible from Earth's northern and southern hemispheres. Orion's shape is easy to pick out, it has many bright stars, and signature Orion's belt is made of three stars close together in nearly a straight line. Orion's belt stars also have names, Alnitak, Alnilam, and Mintaka. But the brightest star in Orion is the blue supergiant Rigel. It's the seventh brightest star in the entire sky. And the second brightest star in Orion is the red supergiant Betelgeuse. It's some 800 times larger than our sun. Someday, no one knows for sure when, Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova. It'll become so bright we'll see it in daylight, then eventually it'll fade from view, changing the familiar look of Orion forever. Here are two more stars of note in Orion, the blue supergiants, Safe and Bellatrix. The three stars hanging down from Orion's belt will guide you to the Orion Nebula, also known as Messier 42. It's a cloud of gas and dust where stars are being born. You can see the Orion Nebula with the eye as a hazy patch on the sky dome. Telescopes reveal four newborn stars, the trapezium cluster, in the heart of this dusty cocoon. Also, the famous Horsehead Nebula is a dark nebula and lies near the belt star Alnitak. So have fun exploring Orion, one of the easiest constellations to identify in all the sky. We're Earth Sky and I'm Marcy Curran. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching.